today I'm going to show you how to make a bunny garland for your uh, mantle or wherever you'd like to hang it. It's made out of the shape of uh, peeps. And if you enjoy making this, you um, can also find the link below to several other garlands uh, that I've made previously for Valentine's Day and St. Patty's Day. Okay, for this project, you're going to need some paper. I used cardstock paper. Now, for mine, I used the glitter paper because I think it looks like um, peeps. I also picked up a bag of big bag of buttons at Joanne Fabrics and it came with a whole bunch of different sized flower buttons and it had the three colors that I wanted which was the pink, the blue, and the green. And then I got a package of just small pom-poms and again it had the colors that I wanted, the pink, the green, and the blue. And I had a cookie cutter that was in the shape of a peep, but if you don't, go online, Google Peeps images, and uh, you can print out the shape. My peep is four inches from ear to bottom. And with the four inches, I used um, this size paper. And so if you use a four inch peep, one sheet of paper, you'll get three peeps out of. So, the first thing you want to do, oh, and then the ribbon um, that I got was just an Easter ribbon, and um, it's uh, three yards long. And then for this project, I'm using tacky glue instead of a hot glue gun and a pair of scissors, and that's all you'll need to get started. So the first step you want to do is take your tracer. I'm using a cookie cutter, but if you print something out, just put it on a piece of cardboard so you can reuse the shape and just take a pencil and trace out your bunnies. And like I said, I was able to get three out of one sheet of um, paper. And so once you trace them out, you're going to cut them out. So for this, I cut out three pink, three green, and three blue. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my tails on. And so I'm going to glue them on opposite colors. So I'm going to do the blue on the green, the green on the pink, and then the pink on the blue. And so you just want to take some of your tacky glue and glue each of the tails down. Okay, so I've uh, glued all my pom-poms down. So then I picked buttons out and I did uh, green, pink, and blue, same color as my bunnies. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in order of green, pink, blue, green, pink, blue for my garland. And then in between each bunny, I'm gonna put a flower and the flower is the opposite color. So green, pink, I'm gonna do a blue pink, blue, I'm going to do a green, and so on. And then some of the buttons are small, some of them are big, so I just mixed them up um, as I went. So what I'm going to do is my ribbon is I folded it in half to find the center of the ribbon. So where the center is, that's going to be where your pink bunny, if you do it in the same color, combination as I did, your pink bunny is going to be in the center. So whichever colors, however you do them, um, just know that four are going to be on one side, four are going to be in the other. So this one will be in the center. So then I'm going to start in the center and glue the ears down. And then I will go and I'm probably going to hot glue these buttons down. I didn't, I said I wasn't going to use hot glue, but I think I am because these buttons will be heavier, but your bunny are just paper, so they'll hold with the tacky glue. And so what you wanna do is just glue your ears, then your button, then your ears, and then your button, and work your way out. Okay, so I've started to glue them down, so you basically just wanna put a dot of glue on each side on the ear, and I'm using a ruler and I'm doing four inches from center of the ear to the next 
grab it. So that way you have them spaced apart. So I'm going to glue all my bunnies down first, and then I'm going to go back and hot glue the flower buttons. Okay, so now you're just going to take your hot glue gun and just put a dab of glue on the button and then glue it onto your ribbon right in the center of the two bu um, bunnies. And I just um, changed the way the flowers are going so they're not all exactly the same. Um, so I may put one going one way and one another and then a small, you know, just different variety as you go along down. Maybe one straight up. And then just do that going all the way down the line. So to finish my garland off, because I'm, I hang mine by nails, I have a permanent nail put in, I just tied a bow and then I put a piece of wire around there so when I go to take it off, I'll be able to take off the garland and keep the wire. So I just loop it on the wire and I just left the ribbon hang down on both sides. So if this is your first time watching, welcome, and please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to receive future notification of posts, hit the bell. And if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. It let us know what you like. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.